my paradise. Oh yeah, baby. Right. We've got him on our first ever chef, chef slot. Try saying that after a few beverages. Jacob, my man, how the devil are you? Good morning, Kirk. How are you doing, yeah, boy? Hey, it's good morning, my neighbours. Yes. <laughs> now, people, we will had we will add subtitles to the broadcast when it goes out live on the video. I am videoing this at the moment. Me and Jake were having a little bit of a boogie there while he was setting up, and I have recorded that. Yes, I have. Uh, so, for for your benefit, Jacob, I will be looking as if I'm looking away from you, but I am looking at the camera here. Yes. So, if if it looks awesome. a bit freaky, that's why. So. Yeah. For the benefit of everybody in the world, who are you? Okay, my name's Jacob, um, Jacob Anthony. I'm a culinary coach. Used to be, uh, well, I still am a chef, basically. Um, I've worked in five-star hotels across the world. Um, well, I say across the world, across the Europe then. And yeah, I've basically, during this unusual time, I've decided to uh, uh, share my skills across the world. I mean, I've got people over in America, I've got people over in Morocco, I've got people here in Wales, learning how to cook, basically, um, in their homes. And also then teaching their, um, teaching their kids at the same time how yeah. to cook. So it's like I had when I was seven. So I'm teaching them and their, their kids to cook. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's just been awesome, to be honest with you. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, that's what you've probably been seeing on, on my Facebook profile and things like that you know just talking about that because i think when you start doing that because we're all so busy at the moment trying to serve everyone at us yeah so we forget to serve ourselves yeah i so think it, yeah i've been teaching people this, people to do that then basically so uh, excellent excellent well where can for, for, before we go into a few things where can people get hold of you jacob because uh we'll, we'll yeah. th this video will go out on youtube and facebook and we can put the links in there so where where can people find you if they want to know a bit more about jacob so i've got a facebook group called burn up to bliss basically and um uh it talks it talks about uh uh say um helping busy uh parent entrepreneurs then to uh to learn to cook a lot more quickly so basically uh i go in there and, and i give actual chef tips yeah to uh, to people then so because what the, the cookbooks don't do is they don't teach you how to cook, how to sort of cook like a chef would cook yeah so um, and this is what i'm probably going to cover with you today actually a little bit uh, in terms of you know the Christmas season and stuff like that, because there's so much pressure on people, or they feel so much pressure right now. Yeah. Um, in fact, every Christmas is just like, whoa! I'm cooking for so many people. I don't know how to organise it, and that's the yes. it's the organisation that people trip up on. I, yeah, basically. yeah, you're you're right. I think I think that's that's fundamentally the issue because if you put yeah. uh, if you're doing a breakfast, for example, you don't put the eggs on before you've cut the sausage, bacon, and sausage and all the rest of it. Yeah, no, you know, there's no, a exactly. there's a sequence to follow. And I, one of the I'm a dab hand at making a breakfast for loads of people. When <laughs> even when I've got a massive hangover, it's one of my yeah. piece of piece of the all come down and go. We're having breakfast. Go, oh, yeah. banging head. Oh. Right, and it, I just go into. Uh, automatic mode because I've done it that many times I don't yeah. even have to think about it so I'll tell you what yeah. we're going to do we're going to uh, anyway you you crack on you you tell us because we might play a song in a minute and then have a bit of a break so, um, so basically what I what I do um, I'm, I'm going to give you three tips then for Christmas cooking yeah uh, um, three of the most important things you can do and sometimes it doesn't even involve the oven. The oven. So just one of them doesn't even involve the oven to start off with, right? The first thing, and you, 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 Kirk, you'll understand this, okay? Uh, it's all about food hygiene, right? The first thing, because obviously you were, you were a butcher before. I was, man. I was. I still am. If anyone starts, yeah. I'll stab them. Go yeah. on, go on. You're all right. Carry on. Exactly. So the first <laughs> thing that you want to do, right, is get your beast or your bird out of the freezer. Yeah. At least 24 hours. Before you reckon and get it in the fridge, at the bottom of the fridge, right at the bottom. You know where these where uh, these food manage, these fridge manufacturers tell you to stick your salads. Get them out, put it, um, put them above on the shelf above then, or um, but get your meat right down the bottom because what you don't do, want to want to have is when it's defrosting, it's all those lovely juices then 
dropping onto everything else. So get it right down the bottom. Yeah. Basically, is it in actual fact the trees will help? They'll, yeah. they'll help you by capturing the uh, uh, capturing the, ju- the juices anyway. So you can just pour them up or use them as part of your gravy. Number two then is is basically, is basically you're looking to get as much done as you can the day before. For example, you've got your veg then prepped. Uh, you can at least chop them. You can even blanch them then. For example, your roasties, unless you want to be waiting up <laughs> hours for sort of rock hard roasties, get them part boiled, first of all. Yeah. Get your greens blanched just in and out of rock boiling hot water. Yeah. Okay. Um, your parsnips then as well, in and out, in and out of hot water, because about half the time you would normally cook them in. And the beauty of that then as well is you've got that water ready to for your gravy, yes, and uh, yeah, so the, um, so yeah, I would do do all that first of all. Let the water cool down, then I can then get the um, uh, get the veg cool down under cold water, but only do them about halfway because all you've got to do then is just yeah. finish them up, finish them off in the oven, or bl- or sort of blanch them in the hot water again um, for a couple of minutes just before you're serving, cool. basically. So um, so yeah, so it's. Uh, and stuff like that. And the third one is just enjoy it. Just enjoy the process. Just because at the moment, right, we've got so much going on in our heads. We've got so many worries and stuff like that. Just enjoy that time with your family. They can do if you've got stuff, if you've got stuff already prepped and it's all they can they can come along and and get involved and go, right, okay, I'm gonna help you by watching these, these yeah. carrots. Yeah, I'm gonna help you by watching the roasties or popping them. So you're not doing like my mum used to do and slaving over the over the oven and just missing the complete uh, the whole Christmas yeah. experience. Yeah, cool. Um, but, you, know, you probably you probably seen that yourself. Yeah, I do, uh, I do. But you know, yeah, yeah. My mum was the same. Wouldn't know I have an helper, but um, I'm the same as well. Do you know when I'm cooking? I don't want anyone in the kitchen. Get out, get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Don't 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 mess with it. Don't mess with it. And the worst thing, the worst thing for me is when I have a barbecue because that's my special time of year. Is oh, yeah. if someone messes with me grill. Someone messes. Yep. I, I was cooking a bit, but I, and I still remember. I never forgive him. Never forgive him. My brother came along and, and started turning all my stuff over. Like, Who's been messing with me grill? So I don't know where I'm up to then, do I? I don't know if it's. No, exactly. I don't exactly. know what part of the process we're on. So d- don't no. mess. Don't mess with me grill, man. Don't mess with me grill. <laughs> Right. Or your pizza oven, apparently. Or my, my pizza. No, I, I do pizza school, you see. When people, when everyone comes round to my house, yeah. um, they do pizza school. So I get them to make a, make a pizza. It's my wife yeah. and my son who are, are dab hands that they make the dough. But the actual yeah. cooking of... And my me, me son's really good at uh, doing the pizzas. But what we tend to do is get yeah. people to make their own pizzas. Get, And I think that's key for it, what you were just saying, then, is get people involved. Get, uh, yeah. I think the best learning or to get people actually cooking, because I think we've, we're have we lacking it in the UK, is that yeah. tra- transfer of knowledge from mother to daughter, son, or whatever. I, yeah. I don't you think it's what? happening the same anymore, and I think that's a big issue. Um, yeah. I'm going to play well, a, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna play a track, and then we'll come back. And then you, awesome. can, you can let me know. Is there anything you want me to play? We'll play that. Oh, bit of Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. What, so, heard it on the grapevine or something like that? Yeah, heard on the grapevine. Well, that's food. That's food, isn't it? Grapevine. So yeah. Well, yeah, go. it's food related. It's food, and it's even better when you turn it into wine, isn't it? Oh, see. Yeah. Christmas see? again. Christmas <laughs> wine. That and that's what we can talk. What goes well with your Christmas dinner, apart from any alcoholic beverage? <laughs> right. Let's have this, and we'll come right back. Uh, so I'm going to mute you, and you'll have to unmute yourself, fella, when we come back. All right. All right. Cool. Nice one. We'll be right back with Jacob. 